This your girl Keisha Ray. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. All right, y'all. So today I'm going to be doing a get to know me video because I'm coming at y'all with these story times and stuff, and y'all don't know nothing about me. Y'all don't know nothing about me. So I have a couple of questions that I was asked. Um, I have 50. So if the video doesn't get too long, I do all 50 in this video. But if it seems like it's getting a little lengthy, then I'm going to just do 25. All right, well let's get straight into it. Okay. First question is, what is your middle name? Well, my middle name is Andre, as y'all can see in my name tag. That's me, Keisha Andre. Okay, um, how old are you? I am 27, 1995, born in 1995. Okay, do you have kids and if so, how many? Yes, I do have kids. I have two little boys, Jirai and Jayon. Jirai is six and Jayon is two. Okay. What is your favorite restaurant? Well, I love Italian food. So my favorite restaurant is Olive Garden. Love Italian food. How long was your longest relationship? Seven years. And that was with Marlon. I was with Marlon for seven years. Um, what was your favorite subject in school? Math. I love math. I love math. I love numbers. I guess because I love money, I guess. Same hey, shit. Math. Okay. Um, what's a bad habit you have that you would change? Huh. Well, I guess a bad habit I have is I believe everything. Like, I believe everybody until you give me a reason not to believe you. Like, I don't just come straight up and be like, liar, liar. I don't do that. I always try to give people the benefit of the doubt until they prove me wrong. But, yeah, I do have a bad habit of that because I always end up getting hurt at the end. Anyway, how many siblings do you have? So, out of my mom's kids, I'm the oldest. And then I have Taz. Um, my little brother, I'm gonna call him, uh, I don't know what to call him, yo. I'm calling him Attitude, because he always got one. Um, and then my baby sister, um, the reason I'm giving them names, because they're going to be in stories later on down the line. Um, my baby sister, um, uh, I'm going to call her Bubbles, because she reminds me of Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, I'm going to call her Bubbles. She just walked in, y'all. Anyway, and then um, including my dad's kids, I have an uh, older brother and an older sister. And um, so all together, I have five five siblings. Yes. All right. Um, what are your hobbies? Well, I love to sing and I dance. Uh, my sisters and I have a dance team called Straight Outta Line. Um, so yeah, we do dance. We, um, I also, uh, we did cheer. We were cheer coaches a couple years ago. Uh, I was a cheerleader in high school. I do, yeah, I do a lot of dancing. I also like to draw. I don't draw too much anymore now that I'm a mom. I don't really have the time. But, um, but yeah, so now that I'm older, I've added on cooking. Because I enjoy cooking as well. Um, I look at that as another type of art. Um, what do you wish people knew about you? I wish that people knew that I'm a ride or die. Like, I'm like when I'm close to somebody or I care about somebody, like I always try to make sure that everybody's good. I give my last to anyone that I that I care about. You know what I'm saying? I wish people knew that because I think that if I don't even know what to say with that, y'all, because I don't know. I just had a lot of bad experiences where people, I give my all to people and I don't get it back. 
But I wish that people could recognize real and learn that they need to keep that around. That's where I'm at with that. Um, what sports did you play? Well, I played a little bit of basketball before I got to high school. I played in middle school. I wanted to play in high school, but I had a heart condition. Um, and so they didn't clear me to play basketball. So I did cheer freshman year and um, senior year. I was the captain senior year. And then I did um, step team sophomore year and junior year. And um, what else did I do in school? I also did, well, I don't know if you consider this a sport or not, but we were the uh, in the parade. I was one of the pom-pom girls that danced in the parade. I don't know. Um, what is your favorite drink? Okay, if we're talking non-alcoholic, I love Pepsi. I love Pepsi. If you if I'm mad at you, if I'm mad at you and you're trying to get on my good side, you better bring me some chicken parmesan and some Pepsi because I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you. But if we're talking alcoholic, I love sangrias. I love sangrias. Honestly, I like watermelon sangria better, but I would drink any sangria. I love sangrias. Um what do you do when you have free time? Jesus. When I have free time. I try to sleep, y'all. I be trying to get some sleep. I be trying to watch my shows because Jayon really be like all in my grill when he's awake. This is why I shoot my videos while he's asleep because that man just, when he wakes up, it's straight, mommy, mommy, mommy. So, yeah, that's what I try to do. Try to catch up on some sleep, catch up on some TV. Now that I'm doing YouTube, um, I will be doing this. Um, Let's see. What is your idea of a dream date? Well, a dream date to me, um, I don't really care about like, oh, let's go out to eat or something like that. I'm all down for a nice walk. Um, even if we were to go sit at the beach or something like that and just talk. I love talking. For my my subscribers that's talking that shit right now, because y'all know I talk too much. Hush. Anyway, yeah, I love to talk. I like to get... To, I like to get into your mind. Like, tell me about yourself. What makes you mad? What makes you happy? You know, I want to know all that stuff about you. And, and food. So, yeah, we can get food, too. Because food is a good date. But, yeah, I just like to really get to know who it is I'm on a date with. You know, like, I want to know about you. Tell me about yourself. Um, What kind of man do you want? Uh, well, I want a man that's, number one, a protector. Because I am a female and you know i i want to feel safe with the the man i'm in a relationship with and i want a provider um i love to work i don't mind working but you know i don't want to be the only one out here you know getting it out the mud like i want us both to be out here getting the bag you know what i'm saying um and to be honest with you i just i the kind of man that i look at is you gotta feel good about yourself know that you're something um look good you know dress nice and um be all about your business and be about your your family like who you in a relationship with you know what i'm saying don't exclude me you know always keep me in your mind i just i i don't know i just like to be thought about you know i don't want you all in my grill all the time but at least think about me like call me like hey you know you just ran across my mind today i just wanted to make sure that you was good did you eat today you know, you got gas in your car. Like, hey, it's Friday. I'm going to come fill your car up. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, little nice things like that. I just, I don't know. Hmm. Um, do you enjoy roller coasters? No. And quite frankly, I'm not going to get on one to know if I enjoy them or not. I don't like the way they look. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? So, therefore, I'm not getting on one. I'm not doing it. Um, have you ever cheated? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And, um, of course, I regret it. Oh, my God. But it was, like, it was years ago. But, yeah, I have cheated before. And um, it's because I was weak-minded. But I haven't after that. Because I didn't like the way that felt. I don't like the way that feels. Mm -mm. It's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Um, what is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is leaving this world without my kids being stable. 
I do not want the Lord to take me from here and my kids are not anywhere near where I need them to be for me to feel comfortable to be going. I'm sure a lot of a lot of mothers feel like that. That's my biggest fear, yes. Um, have you ever cheated on a test? Oh yeah. And it wasn't even necessary to cheat on it, but I didn't feel like thinking. And that's just that's just real. Like I used to wear um holes in my jeans and I would like write the little uh answers down on a little piece of paper and I would slide it in the hole of my jeans and I would just have my legs crossed or something and whenever I get to one that I don't feel like thinking about I would just slide the paper to the side my little hole and then I'll slide it back in the hole. Mm-hmm. Um what do you miss about being young? I I miss not having to pay no bills, not having to worry about nothing. You know what I'm saying? I I I love the fact that I could just get up and be myself. I didn't have to worry about nobody but Keyshawn. I love that. Now, I got to pay bills. I got to go to work. I got to think about them two little babies up there. Like, you know, not regretting none of it. But I miss being a kid. I do. I miss being a kid. Um, Your most embarrassing moment in high school. <laughs> oh, y'all, because I have a couple. But this one was really embarrassing. So, me and my homeboy... Well, actually, it was a lot of us. I think it was breakfast time. We was all chilling in the cafeteria. And my friend, he kept telling me, he was like, I'm going to pull your wig off. I'm going to pull your wig off. I'm like, boy, you ain't going to pull my wig off nowhere. Shut up. You're not pulling nothing. Y'all, two weeks went by, and I was like, he ain't pulling my wig off. He ain't never did it. This man, <laughs> this man walked inside the cafeteria and pulled my damn hair off, y'all. <laughs> and I had the straight backs under. <laughs> Embarrassed embarrassing and i believe i was in like 10th grade so you got all the upperclassmen in there like oh my god that was so embarrassing and i should fight him for that now i really should i really should if you watching this i ain't forget you know who you are i didn't forget love you though love you though but i ain't forget um when do you want to get married i want to be married by the time i'm 30 years old by the time I'm 30 years old, I want to be married. Sorry, y'all. No. Mm. I want to be married by the time I'm 30 years old. I'm 27. I'll be 28 in June. And, you know, I just feel like at this point, I mean, I don't know. I'm not really the type to be out here just doing a whole bunch of dating and all of that. Like, I just kind of want to meet that one person and go ahead and figure out what it's going to be then. I feel, I believe in if you... I believe in love at first sight. I believe it's out here that people can meet someone that they connect with so well and everything's just exactly what it needs to be. It's not perfect, but you you feel like, oh, this is it. And I feel like it don't take no 15 years to decide if you want to marry somebody. I just feel like that's just dragging people. I don't, I don't want to be dragged. No, not anymore. I'm 27. No, no more dragging. Um, what is something you want to improve on? Um... I want to listen a little bit more. I, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I think I'm right about everything. So people can come to me and be like, oh, Char, the sky is blue. I'm going to give you every reason why I think it's not. I'm a good debater. Like I'll talk all day about that shit. That's just it. But yeah, I need to start listening more. I talk too much. Um, Do you have any secrets nobody knows about? Uh-uh. I have secrets that some people don't know about, but at least one person knows what it is at least one person it's i, I don't I'm not, I'm not out here crazy you know what i'm saying like no mm -mm. but yeah at least one person knows about something that i've done i think we're doing good on time y'all i mean i'm on question number uh 20 26 i believe i don't know um have you ever been arrested yeah Oh, for no reason though for no reason y'all arrest me and i'm at home i'm at my house i can't do nothing but that's the story time i gotta tell y'all about i'm not gonna get deep into that right now but yes i have been arrested i have for no reason clowns um would you rather be able to fly or read minds huh I think I want to read minds. I want to know what y'all, what y'all, what y'all got to say about me. What you saying when you walk in the room? What y'all saying? Oh, mm, look at her lace. Like what y'all saying? I want to know what y'all talking about when, when y'all walk in the room. I want to know what y'all saying. Um, what is your favorite breakfast food? 
Um, personally, I love French toast sticks. Love French toast sticks. I eat them all day long. I love French toast. Um, what fear do you want to conquer? I want to conquer my fear of flying. I love to travel, but I can't drive everywhere. And don't get me wrong, I will. But it's a dumb idea. But I will drive everywhere I want to go. But yes, the places that I want to go that I can't drive to, I have to, you know, get over my fear of flying. So y'all put in the comments if you've flown before and give me some tips on how to get over that because I really want to, I really want to fly. I really do. Um, do you have any regrets? No. I believe that everything was a lesson. I have no regrets. None. None. Um, what is your favorite color? Red. Why did I sing that, y'all? <laughs> I don't know. I love red, though. I don't know. Something about it. I love red. Anyway, what's your favorite season? I love fall. I love fall. And the reason I love fall is because I love the colors of the trees. I love when the I love when the trees turn colors. And also, I don't like Halloween, but I love Michael Myers. And every time when it becomes fall, I'm getting ready to watch Michael. I just love Michael Myers. I love Michael Myers. I love Michael Myers, y'all. Put in the comments, what's your favorite serial killer? I wanna know. I wanna know if we beefing or not. Um, what's your favorite feature about yourself? Um I don't know if y'all see them or not, but I like my little moles. I like my little moles on my face. I love that. I think they just add right to my, all of this beautifulness. I love my little moles. Um, oh Lord, where am I at? Um, what was your biggest heartbreak? Uh, me and Marlon breaking up. That was a, uh, that's, that was my biggest heartbreak. I love that nigga. Sorry. Sorry. Um, what's your favorite thing about yourself i'm friendly i love that about me i love that i can walk in the room and not be shy to talk to people i love that now don't get me wrong i i don't just talk to anybody because i can feel energies and if your energy is off to me i'm not going to speak i'm not going to say nothing but i am friendly though if you come to me and be like hey um i love your hair i'm like oh thank you i appreciate that like i like this about you you know i just you know i, I know how to do that mm -hmm. um what's your favorite thing about your family oh my god my family is a bunch of fools we just a bag of fools okay we are so funny i love when we all get together well my y'all i'm the joke they every time we get together they always they got secret pictures of me and stuff and they just end up like screen playing them on they put them on the airplay on the tv and i'm like when did y'all take this picture but yeah we have a good time when we get together we, everything's a laugh it's all jokes um when's the last time you cried shit i'm emotional i cry every day put something on the tv and it's a good movie oh i'm crying I'm crying. I don't know when the last time I cried. I think I cried like last week. Early this week. Something like that. Probably. Shit. What makes you emotional? Uh, when people hurt me or hurt people that I care about, that makes me emotional. Like I said, if I watch a real, real good movie and it's an emotional part in it, that makes me emotional. But I don't really, I don't really get emotional for real. Um, It really got to be something that's worth getting emotional for. But when I do get emotional, I'm ugly. Y'all know them ugly cries. Mm. Yeah, that's me. Um, what is your nickname? Shar. S H A R R. That's my nickname, Shar. Which is my first name, Keyshar. Okay, let's see. Um, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Chocolate! 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 I love chocolate. 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 Mm. Anything chocolate, I'm eating it. Love chocolate. I love chocolate. Put in the comments what's your favorite flavor of ice cream, y'all. Um, what kind of phone do you have right now? I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max and it's gold. And I love her. But I am getting a new one soon. And I did just get this phone, but I'm getting a new one. Because it's not the phone that I wanted, but it's what I could afford at the time. Um, 
what inspires you my kids every morning i wake up i don't feel like getting up to go to work sometimes i just want to lay in the bed and sleep but i look at my babies and i'm like i have to get up because everything i do is for them so my babies inspire me um what is the most important thing in life for you um i guess it's the, the same thing as the last thing um What's really important in life for me is being successful enough to where my boys are straight. So if anything happens to me, I know that they're taken care of. Um, what is the first thing you notice about people? Mm. Let me think, y'all. I got to think of something. When I walk in the room and it's a room full of people, honestly, like I said, I read energies really well and energies just like they be running up to me when I get in, walk in a building or something like it's weird. And so let's say that I walk in a room and it's a whole bunch of negative over here, but I can feel a little bit more positive over here. I just walk over there to the positive side. But yeah, I notice energies first. Like I know people that know, like my mom, for instance, she notices shoes first. She looks at the shoes when she walk in. Cause she just loves sneakers and stuff. So she want to make sure, oh, who, hmm, why they got them shoes on or something like that. But yeah, I'm not that. I, mm -mm, energy's for me. Energy's for me. Um, do you try to avoid conflict or face it? I try to avoid conflict as much as possible because I'm not a, a problem type of person. But um, if it does come at me to a point where I can't avoid it, then I go ahead and face it then. I just avoid it because I don't want to have to get out of character. Not because I'm scared. Um, what was your first job? Oh my God, y'all. I love my first job. My first job, I worked at Friendly's Restaurant and I was the ice cream girl. And I was fucking them ice creams up, honey. They were like, oh, I want this, I want that. Oh, I made it look so cute for the little kids and stuff. Yes, honey, I love making ice cream. That was fun for me. 16. Mm -hmm. And been working ever since, honey. Hard worker, indeed. Um... Who is the first person you call when something happens in your life? The first person I call is my mom. The first person I call is my mom. I always call my mom first and then I call my sisters and tell them, but I always call my mom first. Do you get angry fast? No. It I'm t it really got to really piss me off for me to get mad. That's why I be saying when my, in my story times, when I be talking about me going off and stuff, it really, really, really has to piss me off for me to go off. Because I do not have time for that. I don't. I do not have time for that. I love being happy. Who got time for that? Do you have tattoos? Yes. How many tattoos do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six tattoos and I'm about to get more. But most of them going to be cover-ups because I got these when I was young and they're busted. But um, I am going to get more, though. Probably probably next month, I'll probably get more. Um, But, y'all, that is the end of this video. Um, If y'all have more questions, I would definitely do a part two. If y'all want to get to know me a little bit more, if um I didn't answer a question that y'all might want it to know, just send them to me. I done told y'all already. Y'all can send your story times if you want advice anything that you might want me to discuss on the camera y'all can always send it to t which is t-e-a-t -E with key 95 at gmail.com and i will read all of your emails and if you have story times i will gladly read them just make sure that y'all put in there whatever fake names y'all want to use for the people involved in your story and what would you like me to call you and i will gladly read your stories and give you my full reaction on whatever story that you send me um let's make it fun Let's do it. Um, I want y'all to know that I'm going to be doing um, Girl Talk Tuesdays. So, tune in on Tuesdays. We're going to be doing Girl Talks, Risky Girl Talks, all types of stuff. Just go ahead and send all of that to... Y'all hear him. Johnny. Just send all your stuff that you want to discuss, topics that you think that needs to be talked about. Send them to twithkey95 at gmail.com. And I will get right on it. I love y'all. I'll see y'all later. Peace.